Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to Get Jacked here on Ark Survival Evolved. Now, what we're going to be doing today, we've built up this Tundra base, we've had a lot of fun doing all that kind of stuff. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going out and I'm going to be showing you the North Underwater Caves. Now, I use these to gather a lot of resources. I'll show you which ones are good for resources, which ones aren't, and just kind of how good um, some of these can be. Now, there are three caves up here in the Northwest. And those are the three that we're going to go to. So we're all set here in the tundra, so it's time to start exploring the area and gathering resources. Now, the plan is to get a saddle, a platform saddle for our Mazasaurus. Now, this takes a ton, a ton of resources. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so we'll unlock this, and I'll show you just how many this takes. I'm going to have to save up a lot of metal and all that kind of stuff. Um, so this is kind of the goal. We're going to be getting a lot of pearls and stuff like that. But what, what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show the amount of resources that I can gather from each of these caves. And we'll kind of show overall which ones are better for gathering resources. Now I'm located right here and the three caves are kind of located around us in this northern tundra area so we'll be exploring those I'll show you their exact locations because I know for me it's hard to just go by their coordinates because some of them can be kinda of difficult to find if you don't know what you're actually looking for so we need to throw on our scuba gear alright can open open door uh oh we've got some lag there we go it opened magically <laughs> alright so we're gonna go over to our floating plesiosaur as you can see he's just kinda of hanging out over here Jeez, it's weird that they float like this when you, I don't know, if you log off or something like that, they start floating, and it's really weird. Alright, so let's buff this guy up a little bit. He's got some levels. I've been trying to get his stamina up really high, uh, because they run out of stamina really quick. And, oh, we need to drop these shark teeth. Those are what weigh a lot. Alright, so we're going to head out to the first cave, and we'll kind of see how this one uh, goes. Alright, so here we are. I'm located right, this is pretty close to where our base location is, this is probably the closest one um, in the northwest here. So if you come to this ice island, just float your way uh, <laughs> all the way down to the bottom, and you're going to reach the entrance to this cave. And this is a little one, you can't actually fit your plesiosaur or um, obviously a mosasaur or anything in here, but what you can do is you can go in here and get, it's really small, I think you might be able to actually fit a shark through here but I'm not sure. This one would be easy to block off if you're looking for a cave to just kind of build a little base into. Um, let's see here. We'll head through this entrance. I haven't actually been to this one before, but it's looking, usually when they have a small entrance, they're really tiny on the inside. So here is the location of where we are inside of the cave. Make sure to turn your bloom quality and light shafts down in here because these can get really nasty with the glare and all that kind of stuff. All right, so I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna n knock out all these resources. Now, I do have 2.5 times uh, gather rate on this server, so that's kind of what, uh, kind of to go by. If you're on a one-time server, it's just gonna be, you know, a little bit less than that. So, I'm gonna go around gathering all this stuff and we'll see how much we can get from this cave in total. Oh no, what is that? Oh, that looks like a glitch. That looks like if I jump in there, I'll probably die. Can we see into it? Oh, we don't want to test this out. Alright, stay away from that hole. You might be able to get stuck in there. Alright, so this is a pretty tiny one, as you can see. We're already in the back of it. This is all the area that this one has. Now, some of them are smaller like this. This one's got a couple little crevices and stuff like that. Some of them are laid out kind of like this, but some of them are in the larger kind of shape as well. So, let's see here. Let's gather all these resources. Now, the oil that you gather in these caves isn't very much, actually. You'd, it's better just to stick to oil outside, because these ones don't have very much in them, compared to the ones floating around outside. All right, let's gather our pearls here. It stinks that you have to switch over <laughs> to actually grabbing them. I always forget it, and I'm sitting here with the pick trying to pick up the pearls. All right, so that that's pretty much it. We've got a little entrance here. See, I think you could fit a shark. So this is the total resources that we've gotten from this one. I'll kind of bring them all up at the end and to compare uh, the three caves together. But that's from this one. We're going to head back out to our plesiosaur and head on to the next cave location. All right, so here, where are you going, man? 
Why are you swimming away from me? All right, check out these map coordinates. This is is not an actual cave location, but I found this going between the two. And holy crap, check out this area. It's like I've never seen an oil spawn this large. Look at how much oil is contained in this area. Let's just harvest all this and see how much oil is right here. Because this is insane. I've never seen this many uh, put together. I think we'll have to bring the ple or the uh, ankylo. You can actually bring them down here and gather tons of oil. Oh no, we're being attacked by a shark. We'll just let the plesiosaur take care of him. Are you good? You're fine with that, right? All right, man. I'm gonna let you take care of that while we gather some oil. Just stay out of here, okay? Just stay away from this area. That's all I ask. Okay, so. We're gonna gather all. Oh, geez, there's another one. All right, let's take care of this guy. I'll, I got this one, man. We'll get out the sword because that's gonna be a little stronger. Oh, look at the colors on this one, by the way. All right, he got his megalodon. Want to help me out with this one? All right, we're, we're close to killing him. This one's got a really cool color on the top. It's really vibrant. <laughs> but either way, it must die. All right, so we've got him out of the way. But we're gonna continue to gather. See how much oil. I I, I feel like I just gathered so much oil. Now we've just got floating bodies. All right, but I feel like I gathered so much oil and there's so much still here. This is insane. There's just pieces stacked on top of each other. Now this is in the most northern area, so it's probably just a huge deposit that they've put here for you. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I should have brought my flippers, and now I'm out of stamina as well. All right, so let's see how much we've got. And we've got a level as well. We're getting tons of levels out here. Alright, so we've got one, two, three, about three and a half hundred oil so far. Let's see what we can gather from these ones. And I figured I'd just show you this because this is an insane place to come to. I can't believe how much is here. I'm really sad that I'm so slow though. Uh, we'll just slowly swim over to this one. And I do have an ascendant pick, so I'm getting quite a bit more oil than like a normal a normal pickaxe or something like that all right let's head on to our plesiosaur so we've got one two three four oh my gosh look at how much oil we've gotten that's ridiculous all right so that's all from this area we put the stuff from the cave into there already so all right let's head to the second location all right so the second location is very close to where we just were as you can see on the map we're gonna head down to here and if you just kind of see, I'll show you the land there. We'll float down. All right. It's so funny how they just kind of float down to the bottom. How do you sink so quickly? All right, so we've got this cave. Actually, this one looks like we can fit this guy in here. Oh, yeah. Check that out. All right, this one you can fit a plesiosaur. This might be a really good one to actually tame a plesiosaur in. Because if you can fit in here, you can actually just get up onto these rocks and shoot one. All right, so that's really helpful. Let's eat a little meat. It's really cold out in this area, but it's not cold in the cave, actually. So this one is a... Okay, this is a big one. This is this is similar to some of the southern ones, how big it is. This one's huge. It looks like it goes into a U. We've got a couple crevices along the way, and this probably shows our... Yeah, this leads right to that place. Okay, that's cool. All right, we don't want you following us anymore. Okay, so let's gather our resources. Let's see how much this one has to offer. This one seems to have a ton. It's not as compact as the other one, but these ones are actually in really close proximity. So if you get used to running in between these, you'll be able to get a lot of pearls. Um, and I'm finding a lot of crystal in here as well. I don't know how you get mushroom. I guess there would be mushrooms in a cave like this. That makes sense. All right, so we'll pick up all these. Let's put this on so we don't waste our our tank we don't want to get stranded out here without an oxygen tank all right so we'll keep continuing here there's a lot of stuff in here this one you could build a pretty cool base in I think if you were actually looking to build a base in one of these caves this one has a big okay that one's already taken this one has a big area that you can actually build in if you don't care about the spawns or anything like that but remember, you do take increased damage when you build down here, I believe. Because it counts as underwater as well. So let's get all these. And and if you haven't noticed, I don't know if they just added this under the radar or something like that. But pearls used to actually take two grabs to get all the pearls. 
and now it just kind of does it all in one. I'm not sure if they just kind of added that in or what. All right, so I think we got everything. Did we get, nope, we've got one more pearl here. We've got a couple more pearls here. Let's grab these. See, it only takes one now, which is kind of interesting. So that's all that we got from here. Let's see here. These are the total resources. Again, I'll compare them all at the end just to kind of see uh, which one's actually better. It might be better to go to that other one because it was all really compact and easy to all grab. So let's get this plesiosaur out of here. It's really nice that you can actually fit him in here. Now if we can get him out. Okay, we can. All right, now on to location number three. All right, and here we are, location number three. Now, this is really close to the base location that I showed. I'll get above the water so that you can actually see it. And this is right off of the peninsula, kind of, in the north area as well. So, how about we put this stuff... We need to put this in here so that we can see. So, I actually got all of the resources. I didn't want to put you through gathering all those resources again. So, that was the resources that I've gathered from this cave. This is another small one. So, we're going to head down into this area. And if we go into here... Where to go? Uh-oh. It's really easy to lose these places. <laughs> That's why it's easy. It's it's much nicer to kind of get a visual look at what it looks like before actually heading out to them. So this is a little crevice. We'll stick our head in here as far as we can, but I I can't fit him in here. This is another small one like the other one, but this one was really low on resources. It didn't have too too much in it, and I'm kind of sad. Uh, I wouldn't recommend coming to this one if you're looking to get resources, but if you wanted to build like a little base or something, I wouldn't feel too bad about building something in here because you're not gonna get you're not gonna get rid of all those spawns of the nice ones alright so if you look up here we've got just a little ledge and then this one's got like a little sandbar in it too interesting I don't know it's just this little pad of sand over here in the corner oh yeah that definitely looks comfortable <laughs> that's weird that it's just got this little corner of sand but oh well but yeah this one didn't have too too many resources in it so I wouldn't bother with this too too much and also you're not really gonna be able to tame anything unless you want like a shark or an ithy but I don't know why you would come down here to tame one of those anyway um, so that was the last location that I'm gonna show you up here in the northwest we're gonna head back to base and we'll kinda see total how many resources we just collected from all of these alright so we've made it back and now I've got all of it I don't know why why I can hear the wind whipping through here I'm underwater that doesn't make any sense uh, but these are all the resources we've got. So in the first cave, we've got we got 150 pearls, 52 oil, and 91 crystal. In the second one, we got 211 pearls, 90 oil, and 85 crystal. And then in the third one, we got 188 pearls, 65 oil, and 86 crystal. So they're all pretty much equal. I mean, the first one was actually the worst, and it actually had only 60 pearls less, and you know, 40 oil less than the best one so in reality they're all pretty similar I think they're not terribly ridiculous on you know the differences in their resources now I've got these ones all set for our Mazasaur saddle that's gonna be what we're gonna be doing in the next episode uh, so it, it just really doesn't matter which cave you go to it seems I mean the bigger ones obviously have a little bit more but it's also spread out so you're gonna sp spend more time in there uh, the oil that huge oil area that we found had 480 oil in it so that was a really good place to to go and get oil so like I said in the next episode we will be going we'll be getting that Mazasaur saddle all set up the platform and we're gonna get some uh, some cool stuff going with that that one's gonna be kind of like a turret one we'll probably put on like a rocket turret and see if that works on a Mazasaur so we're gonna be playing around with all that kind of stuff and building but for today, that's all I've got. If you liked the video, please hit that thumbs up or subscribe to the channel for more content. Otherwise, you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will catch you next time.